Hey, welcome. It's another Tuesday night with Tracy and Becky, my hey. friend and pal here. <laughs> All righty. Who is ready for a Get Your Glam on 10.0 look? Me too. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to let you guys get on, figure out what's happening on a Tuesday night. Perhaps your consultant gave you some samples. Maybe you have a color card or you have some other samples that you want to try along with us. By all means, take a minute, go get them if you don't have them already or grab your makeup bag. I know it's 830 at night, but maybe you live in California and you're getting ready to go on a hot date. Hey, let's right. do it with us, right? <laughs> So wherever you live in the United States, make sure you put your name in the comments and who invited you, because of course, we're doing a comment queen and a sold queen. So if you see a product and you're like, I need that, I want that, I must have that, put sold and the name of the item. So if you see lip gloss and you're like, I need that, put sold lip gloss. Right. That way we know exactly what you're talking about because once we get all the comments, we have no idea what you're talking about. So, yep. right. All right, Tracy, uh, what is happening tonight? Well, it's get your glam on 10.0 and this is all the stuff, all the stuff. We're not leaving anything out. This is for somebody who maybe has a special event coming up. Uh, or um, maybe wants to learn about some new products, or maybe you do this every single day, which is what I do. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure this girl right here does it as well. I mm -hmm. love all these products. I love a full face of glamour. I think the trick is, and I think that what Mary Kay makes it so easy to do is to have a full face of glam on and it still looks very natural. And mm -hmm. that's what we're going to show you how to do. So good. So special event, like what would you wear? Where would you wear your special? Like if you went extra on your makeup, what would you do for fun? You know what, Becky, if I honestly, if we go out to dinner, if Doug and I go out to dinner, even if it's just we I live in Ada, downtown Ada, I fix myself up and I put a little bit of extra glam on a little bit more eyeliner, mascara, maybe a little bit darker eyeshadow, a little bit darker lip. So mm -hmm. I'm all about it. I'm all about um, dressing up for my husband because I want to be the prettiest girl in the room to him. That's important to me. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take much for me to put extra glamour on. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not hard. And I think that's the, that's the preconceived idea is that makeup is hard. And oh. 15 years ago this month, I was not the glamour girl. Wow. I have pictures to prove it, um, but a little bit here and a little bit there, you can learn to do this. It's not rocket science. It's not it, like you can learn it. It's a skill you can learn. Mm -hmm. And so just with practice and adding maybe one little extra at a time. And I can just tell my glamour, look, I didn't go from zero to 10.0 overnight, Sure. I went from zero to 4.0 and then to 5.0 and then 8.0. So it can right. be a gradual process. So I want to give you hope that you don't have to do it all to be beautiful, first of all. But if you want to do that extra, and I love that, Tracy, that you talked about. We want to look our best for our husbands. Mm -hmm. um, we live in a world where that matters, honestly. Mm -hmm. And so I love that you are um, keeping that in mind. So all right. We all have our skincare done. Oh, by the yep. way, if you're watching this on the replay, make sure you put hashtag replay because your comments, as long as you watch this within the first 48 hours of this posting, which is Thursday night, um, you can um, get in our comment queen and our sold queen prize drawing. Is that exciting? Exciting. That's very exciting. hundred bucks cash. Heck yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yep. 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 So yep. let's get into this. Okay. So yes. We did our skincare, right? We have skin did. on our faces. So I'm going to take our skincare and I'm going to set it aside. Yay, because we did that. Yep. So the <laughs> next you can't get a glam look without good skincare. Exactly. It's the foundation to everything. We've said that a million times, but you really can't overstate that. It's just the absolute truth. If you want pretty makeup, you got to have pretty skincare underneath. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Next thing, if you want pretty makeup, primers are really important. First primer that we're going to use is our foundation primer. Becky, why in heaven's name would you use a primer? Well, primer is what keeps your foundation on longer and smoother. And yep. it fills in all the imperfections on your face. And yeah, it acts like a magnetic a magnetic field for your foundation. So it's not sucked into your skin. Right. So it's fantastic. I love it. It feels like satin and it's SPF 15. It's true. Okay. Next primer, because we're going to be wearing eyeshadow is our eyeshadow primer. I'm always amazed by this product. It's such a little tube and you need just such a tiny, tiny amount. What do you yeah. love about Beck? Um, you know, I feel, well, first of all, it keeps your, your eyeshadow on um, longer and it gives extra intensity. In fact, I'll do a little experiment on the back of my hand after this dries and you'll be surprised at how intense your um, eyeshadow will look when you've used it over a primer versus not using a primer. So we'll let that dry a minute. Okay. But yeah, and it helps with creases, don't you think, Tracy? Yep. It helps with creasing. I also feel like it, it helps my eyeliner stay on longer. It just, it, it just. Um, if you're going to take the time to do eyeshadow, you want it to look good and last all day. And I feel like this is your insurance policy for that to happen. Yes. Okay. So I just put it on my hand. This is with primer. This is without primer. See the oh. difference? Yes. That's crazy, isn't it? So I use the same amount. It just, it just has that intensity that you can't get without primer. Right. I mean, and then the Density. Yeah, I said that funny. We're gonna, going to do is our lip primer. Mm. Okay. And I didn't bring mine down, so that's okay. I have lip primer tonight. So the way you want to use this is you put it on, obviously, put it on with the rest of your primers. Go just outside your lip line, and what that's going to do is when you line your lips and then put your lipstick on, it's going to keep your lipstick in place and keep it from settling mm -hmm. into all those little fine lines. It's a great product. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it keeps it on longer, right? Pardon me? Yes. Keeps it keeps yeah. it on longer. Wear, wearability. Yes. Again, if you're going to put on a product, you want it to last as long as possible. Think about all the wonderful things coming up. Weddings, um, graduation uh, parties, baby showers, you name it. You want to look your best. So primers are where it's at. Yes. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our eyes. Okay. So Becky, what colors are you going to be using and what brushes are you going to be using? All right. So this is my look. It's one I wear almost all the time, but I jazz it up a little bit more for night. So it's um, Blossom, Rose Gold, and Merlot. That's these colors here. Wineberry, Cheek Color. And then I've got the uh, highlighter and contour. And I believe it's latte and maybe honey glazed. The lightest of the two. I don't, here, let me pull it out. These are magnetic, by the way. I love our compacts because you can just pull them out and replace the color when you run out. So, yep, honey, uh, no, glazed. It's glazed. That's the name of it. There you go. Yeah. And, and I latte. use the same ones. Yes. So look at how pretty this is in this wonderful compact and look how thin. Yeah. So I actually, I didn't tell you this, Tracy, but I still, I just can't live without these on my eyes. So I do my liquid eyeshadows first. Sometimes, I, sometimes I don't. So that's a great tip. Beck, why do you do that? Well, I just feel like it. it keeps my eyeshadow on even longer. And I just love the look of these. I feel like I didn't do enough. Um, I just feel like everything looks better with a liquid eyeshadow. <laughs> Is that possible? It's true. What I am finding, Becky, and I do sometimes still do it, but I'm finding the more layers I put on, the more chances I have for creasing. So oh, okay. I tried to now if I do a thin layer, I'd be fine, but sometimes yeah. I'm crazy. So Get too much going on. Yeah. 
So yeah, I haven't had issues with creasing personally, but that is a good thing to consider. Yeah, I just go a little heavy handed. I don't mean to, but sometimes I do. So yeah, so I start, I use the cream eye color brush um, for putting on my liquid eyeshadows. Perfect. What ones are you doing? I am going to do right here. Uh, I have, okay, what one is it? I have hazelnut and then I have rose gold, crystalline, and then I have espresso. These colors are so pretty for blue eyes and they're in our little compact mini. Mine are in my little compact mini because I was gone on vacation last week and I traveled and I wanted to keep things as streamlined as possible. So it's in here. Um, we have lots of, we have lots of uh, options for compacts. So I'm going to be putting on three colors. Becky's going to be putting on three colors. Then we'll add eyeliner. We'll talk about it as we're going through it. But I do want to mention before we get started, if you notice, Becky and I have very different eye shapes. But honestly, Becky has the perfect eye shape. Let's just put it. She does. Okay. It, it is. Mine is not so perfect. I have small eyes. And I'm as I'm getting older, I'm getting a little bit of a hood. And I will show you how I fix that. I probably won't talk about it the entire time, but just kind of watch me, okay? And mine have the tendency to be a little deep set. So I have to be careful. I have to push back this bone right here a little bit. Really? Uh-huh. Yep, because they're somewhat deep set. Okay. So I start with Marilou. What do you start with? I start with hazelnut every time. It is my favorite color. And the key for to hiding my lid to, or excuse me, to hiding that hood on my lid is just to have a normal, relaxed um, facial expression. And then I place the brush, like my brush is already loaded. I place the brush on the hood itself and I just kind of do a windshield wiper back and forth and it just goes yeah. that. That's awesome. Are you, okay, so I'm using our crease brush and I love this. So this pointy part of the brush is going in the crease. And this part is going on my brow bone. So that's how, and that just like Tracy said, is this the windshield wiper motion is the key to all of our blending. Then I go in with my big fluffy brush and I'm gonna blend that out. Okay, that looks good. Becky is, I like to use lighter colors so that yep. I, I don't have to be quite so precise. Yep. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to use, I've got my hazelnut on, you can see it. Now, on so lid, good. thank you, Beck. On my lid, I'm going to use a rose gold, which I know you're using too, Becky. And isn't this a yep. gorgeous color? It is one of my favorite colors of oh. all time. Yes. Seriously. And I'm actually putting it on my lid as well just in the center of my eyelid because I already did some of that pink starlight. And I think I just did the wrong color. Hold on girls. <laughs> no, I got, I got my sample one and I got my real one and I got to get it. So I'm just going right dead center with that rose gold just to pop the center of my eyes. So one thing I want to mention you guys, if you notice, I am using two matte shades and two share shades on my eyes. Mm -hmm. um, if you're young, you can do all shimmer on your eyes. You can. I used to do that. Okay. I could get away with it. But as I've gotten older, I have found I have just found I do need some matte shades to offset the shimmer. I do think it's good. It looks best if you have kind of a balance. If you don't do all matte, or all shimmer. I think it looks best when you have maybe one shimmer and two mattes or two mattes and one shimmer. Did I say yeah, that? I agree. Yep, you said it right. Okay. Okay. The other thing, you guys, I put more, since we're talking glam and we're thinking more, I, yeah. I think a more color for glam, don't you think, Tracy? Oh, yeah. So I put more on my yeah. inner eye right here. Just want to make sure it blends nicely um, so I can get away with more color, more, more, more. And one thing that I always do, if you, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I always pop crystalline in the inner corner of my eye. That really wakes up your eye, you guys. It makes such a difference. I cannot tell you. So always take a little brush 
and just pop a little bit of shimmer in the tiny bit is all it takes in the corner of your eye. It looks kind of funny before you have your eyeliner and mascara on, but trust yeah. me, it's good. It works so good. And I use the light beam a lot there because I have really watery eyes. So the, the powder for me doesn't always work the best. Okay. So if that's your case, get the light beam. It serves exactly the same purpose. There I got a little bit more than I needed. So you just blend it out. It's okay. Here's one tip though with the cream eye colors is you do need to make sure you blend really, really well prior to it drying. Cause once it dries, it's not happening. Nothing's going to happen. I'm taking the blossom and I just pop it under my brow. Cause I put um, some of that light beam and I didn't want it so shiny there. So if you are using a shimmer and you get more than you want, just take a little bit of the matte and go right over it. And it just makes it not look like you have headlights on your eyes. <laughs> right. Yeah. We <laughs> I've done it. What you're going for. I've done it. So um, and just so you know, you guys, for eyeliner, we have amazing eyeliners, uh eyeliner pencils. But if you want something kind of fun, you can take our finishing spray and one of our nice brushes and a couple squirts of finishing spray, get your brush wet and then dip it in any eyeshadow color and it becomes an eyeliner. So if you're somebody who likes to play up like, um, let's say you have brown eyes, it looks gorgeous to put a bright blue as an eyeliner around or, and if you have green eyes, you could do like a purple as your eyeliner. So have mm -hmm. fun with it. And note to self, if you have lip liners and eyeliners hanging out in the same place, Make sure you're putting the eyeliner on, not your lip liner that I almost just did. So did check, you? your, check yourself, girls. <laughs> yep. It could be a problem. I'm using the deep brown eyeliner, which I love. I I do really like our jet black gel eyeliner too um, for Va Va Voom. And I do some, actually I do have, hmm, I have the waterproof liquid eyeliner oh. is also a good option and this might not be technically correct to do but i do it anyway because i can right we can break the rules absolutely i sometimes will just take the liquid right in the corner even though i have brown eyeliner and i just am blending it a little bit just because that's where i have watery eyes a little bit and it just seems to kind of keep it then i might go back over it a little bit so sometimes you can Great. play games with your makeup yes so and there's no rules really really right i mean like you can break rules all the time you sure can in makeup you can yes I mean, you know. don't break like other rules like that you don't can get break in and drive or anything like that but yeah, yeah that's right but makeup yeah and the great thing is beck i mean it does wash off it's mm -hmm. not so, so I what was going to say, Tracy, that was one of the comforting things for me as I started experimenting is nobody died. No one's ever died doing makeup, I don't think. So, you know, the worst thing that can happen is you wash it off and you try again. And it, as long as you don't go out in public looking completely crazy, it's going to be fine. Yeah. And the thing is, you guys, there's so much great information out there now. I look back at when I started in Mary Kay and probably the things I did and said, <laughs> I don't want to remember. Yeah. I'm sure some of it wasn't exact. I mean, it's just also changed. Okay. And we have so many more products and so much more information and access to information. So, yeah. And stay tuned. The rules will probably change in another yeah. year or two. Right. So at the difference mascara makes you guys can you see yeah. what mascara are you doing today are you doing your typical lash love i am yeah okay. i love lash love. earlier this month when we did our other video i did fanorama for our our keep it simple video so today i'm going back to my normal my waterproof and as usual I'm, I'm just going to show you how hot mess I am in the morning. Um, this is just my normal everyday occurrence. It looks absolutely terrible. 
literally terrible, but it looks really good at the end when I'm done. But do you I do lost the mascara. Do you do, a you, full, do you do a full face every day, Beck, of makeup? Pretty much. So do on I. Saturdays, if I know I'm not going anywhere other than maybe the grocery store, I might just do the light beam or the start pink starlight, but I always do everything else pretty much or pajama day on pajama days. I don't, but that's yes. like once or twice a year. Right. Okay. So I want to show you guys a little trick while Becky finishes her mascara. Uh, where, oh, where, oh, where? Okay, here we go. So you can use under eye corrector or you can use um, just regular foundation. Now, where'd my foundation brush go? Oh, my goodness gracious. I know my stuff's all over the place today. What's up yeah. with that? That's okay. I, got, I think I'll, I'll just use this brush. Okay. But what I like to do as we get older, we all know gravity's pulling things down. I'm going to show you how to do an instant eye lift. This is one of my most favorite Best Trick. tips ever. Yep. For, and I got to give credit to Lori Hogg, makeup artist to the stars or some of the stars. Okay. I probably put too much on, but that's just, I, you know, that's, the, remember what I said? I can be a little yeah. heavy. Okay. And then I always put some here and I'm going to do half my face so you can see the difference. Oh, actually. I'm, and then this an old foundation brush but I like it I love it because the one I really want I can't find I think it's in my, <laughs> in my this is the problem when we have access to so much we sometimes misplace things right well we're moving stuff around constantly with these videos okay you can see you guys this eye has a little bit of a lift to it and then these are my marionette lines. I want to make these less noticeable. So I always put a, I always put a light color in here. So good. Darkness out, right. So look at the difference, this side of my face to this side of my face. Keep in mind, I still do not have any foundation on. Amazing. But you can see that eye lift and it cleans up the eyeshadow right through here too. Yes. I'm going to do that in a minute. Yeah. I usually I'm do mine good. after my foundation. Yeah. Um, but sometimes too. I'm just making a mess here. Don't mind me. Just dropping things all over the floor. Just the way it is. Okay. So I'm going to go on to my foundation because that's usually my next step. Good and job. I'm using our matte foundation that is somewhere on, oh, there it is, somewhere on my table. <laughs> okay, so yes, matte foundation. I am currently wearing the beige C120. And I will probably be upgrading to, and I'm not quite to N150 yet, but I'm on the verge. When I'm in between, sometimes I'll add a little bit of a bronzer or a mixture of our highlighter and contour as my bronzer. So just know you can go from one color to a next one really seamlessly, but you want to know that it's that you need to do it. Eventually, you're going to say, oh, my word, I look like a ghost or I look too tan. I already feel better about these lines, you guys. I don't know if you can tell. So, you know, you guys, I went to a certain reputable reputable business in downtown Grand Rapids. And I um, they did a little uh, consultation with me to put um, a filler in here. $2,400. Oh, my. And it, yeah. Guess what? Oh, it doesn't wow. work. How okay. long does it last? It that honestly lasts like two years, so it's more cost effective than other stuff, but still, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. So, I yeah, think, yeah, we have other products that could help with that, don't you think? Exactly. Yes, and honestly, when I just camouflage it, I feel just fine about it. So, and then I'm going to be using our CC cream, and I'm just going to be putting it on with my hands because that's what's easiest for me. And I absolutely love this product. It's got so many wonderful benefits. 
I could not use this product for a long time because it didn't have enough coverage for me. But because of our clinical solutions and some of the other new products we've gotten that are so great, it's evened out my skin, tro skin tone oh. dramatically. I didn't, I was thinking that you weren't, I mean, yeah. so like even two years ago, yeah, back you even. were at the beginning of the pandemic, you were not able to use CC cream. If I'm, I, a, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. What? I always said that you're exactly right. I, I did not feel comfortable in CC cream, but because so of, um, all the great products are new products. We have so many new products that help even out your skin tone. I can yes. offer CC cream by itself and feel confident. I feel just fine. That is so good. Yeah. And I'll just say, you guys, our foundations are oh. not heavy. No. The, the matte, the CC cream, like they are not heavy. You don't even hardly know that they're on. Now, if you've never, ever worn a foundation before, maybe you would feel it. But I would say the majority of my customers are like, not, it's like not a big deal. Like even if they've never worn a foundation, would you agree? Yeah, I, I do totally agree. I love all our foundation. Uh, honestly, I wear them all. I just yep. like cream for summer, but I love all our foundations. So yes. I'm going to um, do something uh, just, I just like this for layering. It keeps my blush on all day. We have yeah. this amazing new product. It's our gel cream blush. Ooh, I let have me see if I've got some. Mm. Yeah, I have it in dewy peach. I'm still gonna put a powder blush over top. Um, but I like this because uh, when you put a cream blush on, then you put your powder on, and then you put a powder blush over top, your blush will look fresh and on point for hours and hours, all day long for sure and beyond. So this is just a really great way to achieve that. Yes. Such a fun new product. And it doesn't and... much. Okay. So I'm going to try something brave on camera today. I've not used the bright, the pink one before, the light pink one. Oh. And I have a client that just picked it up and said she loved it so much. So I'm going to do it. Why not? Just makeup, right? It's just makeup. And Beck, did you know that powder, our silky setting powder, is like a magic eraser? If you ever get too much of anything, blush, eyeshadow, take a brush and your silky setting powder a little bit, put it over top, and it immediately tones it down. Ah, nice. So, okay, I'm just going to tell you, the pink, light pink is way too too soft for me. So now I'm going. Now I look a little bit like Raggedy Ann. Don't be frightened. No. It'll be okay. It'll all be okay. All will be well. Don't be afraid. Don't panic. Don't ever Don't panic. panic. Okay. So this is going to look like a lot for a minute, but it's all right. We can fix it very easily. And I kind of like making a mistake of too much because this is clearly too much. <laughs> so like flash there back <laughs> I gave up hot flashes you did okay <laughs> <laughs> I just chose not to have them anymore no it wow. wasn't quite that simple <laughs> okay so that's more than I would probably wear on an everyday basis honestly I love it it actually looks pretty good doesn't it I do I really like it yeah. you know okay to use I follow um, a girl on uh tiktok and she wears a lot of brush or blush. She's a young girl, but honestly, it's made me put on a blush. I like More it. Blush, yeah. yeah. Okay. I might have gotten a little bit too much going on, but we'll fix it in a minute, like right in here. But that's okay. We'll keep going. So are we doing contour? What'd you say, Beck? Are we doing contour? Yes, but I want to do powder first because I want to show them something. Uh -huh. Okay. Powder I use, I want to set my makeup. You can use our translucent powder, which is right here, and it's invisible. It goes on, it's white, but it goes on translucent. I love our new silky setting powder, but I'm going to mm -hmm. show you. Remember, you guys, I put light under here and I put light in here. So I'm going to use a lighter powder in those areas, and then I'm going to blend it all out with my normal powder. And you can observe how I do that. Back I can't wait to see it. Thanks, Beck. 
I've not seen you do this t this little trick before. See, I'm not, I, I don't do this. So maybe I, I'll need to. I love this light powder under just a little bit. Well, under which my color is that? Um, I can, I think it's see, I looked, I looked before we went on camera, but I can tell you it's light ivory. Okay. Yeah. So the lightest ivory of the silky setting powder, and you're putting it just under your eyes and in your marionette eyes, mar marionette lines. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is the light beige and I'm going to oh. put it all over and oh my okay. gosh. I just kind of blend it out a little bit. Okay. And that's all it takes. Wow. That is so impressive. So I I probably do it wrong, but I usually do my contour first and then oh. I put my cheek color and then I do my powder. Huh. Okay. But yeah. That's I know. okay. See, this I, is the I, thing, you guys. You can do what you want to do. You can. I, you, I'm going to show you how I do my contour. Good, I please always, do. I have to contour under here. Do you do that, Becky? I don't. Okay. I have pretty, um, like, I have a lot going. I mean, like, I have pretty strong chin, chin lines already. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't. <laughs> my chin and my neck are growing together. So I want to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> and the way you fix it is by putting a um, shadow oh, on it. And I use that. I, I use our latte contour under there. So yes. just put a little dark color. Boom, bada boom, bada bing. I got a neckline again. Yay. It's all in shadowing, right? And then I'm going to carve out a cheekbone because somehow those are disappearing too. <laughs> what is yep. that? What is happening to our life? It's just going away. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, yeah. now I have cheekbones. Yep. Life is good. You guys. So good. Of makeup, okay? Come on now. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, what are you doing back? Oh, I just put a little wine berry on. Wine cheek berry. color okay. so I could layer a little bit because I didn't have enough apparently um now <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm using the medium ivory of the silky setting powder I just love this product so much see now I'm, I'm doing this right now and I did rosy nude I always like to do a little bit on my nose and a little bit yep. on my Kind of got a little more on there than I needed. I need to not oh like needing to cough. <laughs> well, I got powder. All That's what I'm there. saying. I got powder everywhere and it's not working. Okay. So guys, what are you thinking? Does anybody out there, <sighs> out there in the cyber universe have questions for Becky and I? Make sure you're dropping your questions and your yes. you know, whatever. Okay, yeah. Becky, what are you doing next? Well, I'm feeling naked without my brows being done. Back, we're both going to do our brows. I know. But you know, before that, sometimes I just go and uh, like you, I take a little bit of my, my contour and my highlighter together. And I kind of just go like this, just to nice. give me a little bit of extra color. I don't usually do a lot of highlight on my cheekbones. I don't know why, but you can. Did you do highlighter? I'm going to do highlighter. I forgot. I'll tell you back my favorite highlighter. Yeah. It was this. Okay. Where is it? I, I, I mean, I, I bought several of these and I'm sure some consultants still have them. When did we have these? Oh yeah. That's good. Oh, a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. I think, I don't know, but I think I still have some. I love that. Okay. But I will go with the glazed. I'll show you how yeah. I do that. Okay. I've got powder all over my floor. I don't know what happened here today. <laughs> well, we're it's, cold. it's cold in my studio tonight. I don't know why. So I've got a blanket. It is almost bedtime after all. That's right. You need to be cozy. Okay. I need to be cozy, even on a summer day. So you guys always do a little bit of a shimmer. Our glazed is perfect on the tip of your nose. 
Oh, yeah. And then I always do a little bit of shimmer right on my, always. I don't care if I'm running to the grocery store. I put on <laughs> shimmer. Uh, and you always look so good. So well, good. I got to say, Mary Kay makes it easy to look good. Thank the Lord. Yep. Because the older you get, you guys, it does take longer to look cute. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, you guys, brows. You need a brow. Tracy's using her brow pencil. I'm using espresso eyeshadow with an angle brush because I am. And look at the difference. Brow, no brow. Yeah. We are not doing a full tutorial on brows today because... That could be a half an hour in and of itself. And we've actually done a brow tutorial at least once before. And I also, I either use water, which I don't have right now, but I'm using finishing spray just to wet the angle brush. And I dip it in my espresso. And yes, sometimes I use a brow pencil, but today I'm not. So, and I will show you, because I just finished up. I love our new brow products. I am using, yeah. for, and I did this brow here, you guys. I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera, but I'm using a blonde. You can't? Yeah, it looks good. Oh, you can? Okay. Yeah. I'm using a blow. I'm using a blonde brow pencil, mm -hmm. and I'm using dark blonde tint, okay? I like to use both. You don't have to use both. If you want, you can just use a pencil and call it good, or you can yep. just use the tint and say I'm done. Some days yep. the brow tint, but I always put something on my brows because it really frames your eyes. Your eyes are the first thing people see when they look at your face. Okay. What do they say back? The eyes are the window to the soul, right? So your eyebrows frame your eyes. So you do want to, like Becky said, take a little bit of extra time and do your brows. Absolutely. I am feeling so much better. And to know yeah. that it's nine o'clock at night. We should go to Applebee's. Nine. I know. Let's go get some half price apps or whatever they are. <laughs> right. Exactly. All right. So do your brows, you guys. Do your brows. So let us know in the comments, like Tracy said. What are some tips you learned today? We still have to do lips. Uh, what are some products you are currently work, working on finding a solution? Maybe you need a foundation match. Maybe you need a cheek color match. Maybe you need a good mascara. Like your consultant wants to come alongside of you and be that person that can help answer your questions and find the best solutions for you because every single one of you are unique and special and have your own set of things you want to work on. And so it's not, a, and I love that. that's why Tracy and I work so well together as we do things differently, but similarly, and we, we have different faces. We have different skin. We have different eye colors. We have, we have different hair color. <laughs> so we just do things differently because God made us different. And so same with you, you can yeah. take these tips and absolutely implement them into your life. And it's not hard. Yeah. And I want to say too, you know, you talked about Becky, how we like to help where your Mary Kay consultant is here to help you and guide you. Have you guys ever, I want, I want you to drop a comment down below. Have you ever ordered something from Amazon and you got it and it's like, not what you expected? Like it's a miniature. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I ordered some hoop earrings and I'm terrible at um, noticing details. <laughs> well, Doug. Okay. It's a um, soccer for him, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> I thought they were going to be big and they're tiny and I like them and mm. everything. But what I'm saying is you'll never be disappointed with Mary Kay. If you, you know exactly what you're getting, if you're not happy with it, we take it back. Exactly. And it's no big process to do that. Okay. What color lip liner are you doing? I'm doing berry. Oh, I was going to do berry too. So I will do medium nude just so that they can see something different. I'll be okay. sure not to do the deep brown eyeliner. That would be bad. Right. You so know, I think we're going to go and find a different color lip liner because 
I think you guys deserve to see another color besides berry and medium nude. That's fantastic. I'll be right back. I'll talk about lip liner, Beck. Okay. So, you guys, why do you use lip liner? Like I mentioned, when we got started, I used lip primer, okay? I want my lipstick to stay in place. Let's say it's morning, I'm getting ready. I use my lip primer. Then I trace my exact lip line. Or you guys, if you want a little bit more fuller lip, you can trace just outside your lip line. I like to, and I do this because I want my color to last as long as possible. So I like to do a little color in using the lip liner. Okay. Just put Me it too. Over. And then I put my lipstick over top and I'm using one of our new lipsticks. This is called, is it Pink Confidence? Uh-huh. Uh, I think so. Courageous pink. Courageous pink. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Such a fun shape. It's a little hard. I've been needing something. I've need, been needing a, a brighter lip liner. So that's why I quick took a moment away. This is the rose lip liner. You know, another favorite lip liner of mine is the coral. I know. I love it. Okay, I'm liking this. Okay, see, now I feel like this is a little dark for me, so I'm going to lighten mm -hmm. it up and soften it with a little bit of lip gloss. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of boho plum over my pink lip liner. Oh, I like that. I'm going to, what am I going to do? Oh, what? this is a winner. Look, look. Yeah, I think I'm liking it. And like you, I like a little shimmer, a little, mm. little, our favorite product ever. So we went through primers. We put on foundation or CC cream, mm -hmm. we, eyeshadow. Honestly, you guys, for talking and explaining and applying and dropping stuff and going to find stuff and wiping powder off all the stuff <laughs> we dropped it on, we did this pretty fast. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's go have a hot date, shall we? Do you think Beth, our husband? He can Applebee's in 15 minutes. <laughs> There's got to be one be somewhere between my house and your house we can get to quickly. I'll come to the grand. Okay. Sounds good. Let's do it. Oh, my goodness. So, so what do you guys think? What was your favorite product? What color do you want to try? Maybe you had samples with you. Um, and I just have to say my cheek color actually settled in and it actually looks really good. I'm not going to like. I never doubted for a second. I never doubted. Yeah. So here's the most important thing. You guys, don't be freaked out at the first second. It doesn't look good. You have to finish your entire face before you can cast any judgment on if it works or not. And that's the beautiful thing. It's just give it some time, let your face settle in and finish the portrait. It's kind of like painting by numbers and looking at it with that half done and thinking that looks horrible. And then when you get all the paint by number done, it's like, oh, it's a full picture. My puppy's got an eye cream. So back, keep talking. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> OK, you guys, we need to talk about a deal right? So uh, if you fell in love with products, and I'm sure you did, um, you are going to want to order something from your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. And so if you order 50 or more, um, $50 or more, you get one of these amazing deals this month for half off. So we already talked about blush today. I used the Wineberry and Tracy used the Rosy Nude. Um, Tracy used the CC cream. Um, uh, let's see. I actually used the eye makeup remover to fix my mascara. Um, but anyway, anything that you would like to order from your Mary Kay uh, beauty consultant, you can order by text or email, or you can go to her website. And if you're wondering how on earth to find her, you're going to go to, give me a moment, marykay.com. And you're going to search for her if you don't have her website. And so put her name in the search bar with what state she lives in. And you will be able to find her website, order from her website or email, private message her. 
hopefully you know all the ways to stay in communication with your consultant. So uh, for every item that or every order that you make with your consultant this month, you get in our drawing for a hundred dollar gift card. And you also are going to be in our drawing for our comment queen. So you guys get your glam on. So excited. Right. Yeah. I'm liking your lips. I do too. Like, Thank you. I like your lips. <laughs> and you know what I would love if you guys do a look, would you post it in the comments? Like, wouldn't that be so fun to see their pictures with their looks? It really would. Yes. And then you get more entries in our drawing. Sounds good. Okay. What do you got for us to finish up here? I just want to say we went through a lot of products this evening. I hope some of them challenged your thinking to maybe step outside your box, step outside your comfort zone. So pick a couple things that maybe you're, you've never tried. Treat yourself and reach out to your consultant. We'd love to help you. Yes. Love it. Okay. See you on the next Tuesday night.